Hey guys, welcome back to Life on the Eddie Family Farm. So I'm starting here in the building, but before I show the building, I want to give an update on Kaysen. We did go to his appointment yesterday and um, it was his orthopedic specialist appointment and they gave us some, actually some very, um, like a clarity, I guess, a little bit. Some, it just clarifies kind of what he's been going on his whole life. And um, so about a month or so ago, we found out that he has scoliosis, just a mild case, nothing like extreme, but something we need to keep watching. And um, so we started physical therapy and we started, uh, we took him to the podiatrist. And so he does have inserts. We go actually tomorrow for um, to get custom inserts made. So that's what we was doing a couple months ago and we've been doing that. And now we went to this appointment and they, the orthopedic specialist actually believes that he, he doesn't have um, scoliosis. He thinks that it might have been just the way he was standing. Because if you see Kaysen, you can kind of see how he kind of, it's almost like he has one leg that's bigger or longer than the other. And that's just how he's always been. He's ran like that. He, he always has had a limp. That's kind of why a few years ago, we actually took him to the same doctor, the same orthopedic specialist, and um, told them, hey, look, he, something's going on with his legs. Well, they figured out that he does have some curvature to his um, legs, mostly his right leg. And so there wasn't really anything that we could do a few years ago. But now... Um, he has all these different things going on with him. He has epilepsy seizures. He has um, autism. He has speech delay, um, fine motor delay. He's got so many different things. And now it's kind of going, the doctor thinks that um, he doesn't have the scoliosis, but he does have cerebral palsy. So um, before I get more into that, I'm gonna put down a video that I recorded while we were still at the doctor's and actually show y'all and tell y'all how that appointment went. We are here at um, OU Medical Center and Kaysen's going to be, he's seeing the orthopedic surgeon and they want to do another x-ray and do some um, stuff just because his legs have started to, to hurt in the evening time. And um, he's really embarrassed about putting these shorts on. You want to show me those shorts again? Mm -mm. <laughs> I'll get it. I'll get look at him when he gets them on. Okay, so got him fully dressed. And look at these cute little shorts. <laughs> But on a serious note, though, we're going to get his legs checked out. I brought them the CD for um, his x-ray that we did at his pediatric appointment. And they're going to be looking at that and determine if they need to see any more, get any more x-rays or anything. But hopefully we can figure something out and get him where he's not in any pain. So, hey. so the doctor just left and... He doesn't think that Kaysen has scoliosis. Um, there was a little bit of a curvature to the spine, not much at all, but um, he thinks that that was just probably the way he was standing because if you look at Kaysen, you can tell there's, he kind of stands and he walks with like a little bit of a limp, but that's because that one leg, that right leg has a lot of tightness to it. And, um, both of them have tightness, but that right side is a little bit more. So they think, the doctor thinks that he has silver palsy. I think I said it wrong, but um, it's the tightness of the muscles and he's got a lot of tightness to his hip muscles, his um, leg muscles and his feet muscles. 
So he said that that it kind of tells me that he that's what it is because he's got a lot of delays. He's got the speech delay. He's got um, he's autistic. He's got epilepsy. So he said most likely um, there was some kind of um, something going on when he was uh, either in the womb or when he first made his arrival on earth and um, he said he asked if he anything if he had a good birth and I said well he was transverse and they had to move him a few times um, because every time they would move him he would pop right back and to be in transverse and so he said okay well that's what makes me think that that's that because with everything going on with him he probably had something a very 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 mild stroke or something that there's something wrong in the brain when he was first born um nothing bad where he's going to i mean he can walk and he can move his arms around he was he wasn't very scared about how he's um progressing but that has to stay here. Oh. That doesn't go with us. But anyways, that is what we got on this um, visit. We He does want us to do PT um, two to three times a week instead of just the one because that tightness of the muscles, um, if, you don't, if you don't work on loosening those muscles up, he may start to kind of crouch down and start walking like that. And we don't want that. So he said, with well, him being young and still getting bigger and everything, um, we can get it where as long as he's exercising every single day, stretching those muscles, that everything's going to be fine. But anyways, now we're going to go grab something to eat before we head back home. So that was the video of the appointment and how um, we kind of figured out everything. It was scary figuring out or hearing what he had to say just because, I mean, we was kind of going there and kind of thinking that they're going to tell us that, you know, the scoliosis isn't that bad or if it is bad enough, there's going to be things that we have to do. We wasn't thinking nothing about him having cerebral palsy. And yes, I did have to look up that word. I've heard it before, but I couldn't gather what it was called but um so it's scary just thinking of that word just because a lot of people that I know or I've seen on tv or I've just heard about um a lot of them are either in wheelchairs or they're having to walk with um kind of like walking sticks or I don't know what they're really called but, and it was, it's just something that I was hoping that they would say that he wouldn't end up like that. Now, if he did, that's something that we would work with and we would, I mean, we would do whatever we have to, to take the best care of him. But that wasn't the case. His doctor thinks that as long as we do all of the exercises, we'll do we have exercises to do at home, and then we're gonna start um, doing the physical therapy. Hopefully, they said talk to physical therapy and see how many they can actually do. Um, but the doctor does want him to do at least two to three a week. And he's only going once a week. And they're not stretching him right now. Um, they were just making him ride the bicycle to kind of strengthen up the leg muscles, um, doing some arm things for the arm muscles, but really not stretching him um, or uh, massaging the muscles is what he kind of wants them to do. So that's, um, that's pretty much the update that we got from the doctor. We, um, really it's, we just have to learn to live with it. But I did like how they kind of said um, all of these things together kind of shows that when he was in my belly to being maybe a couple months old, um, that he might have had like a mini stroke in his brain 
and that's what's caused all of these delays. And um, I didn't like that, but I like that it kind of gives me clarity on that's why everything's happening, if, if that makes sense. But um, we'll just treat him one day at a time, do what we have to, and hope for the best. But let's get back to the farm. So I told you I was gonna show y'all what we've got accomplished on the building. And this is it right here. So they got this front framed out. And then this is our doorway. So they got this front part and then all they have left is these top parts all the way across here and then the roof. So that's what we're waiting on and um, hopefully they can get it done pretty quick because I'm just ready for it to be finished. Not that, I mean, it's not like I'm gonna stay in there or anything. I think Brandon has actually mentioned that eventually like later on after it's been established and done for a while um and we build up the funds a little bit more putting some kind of loft in there so that we can put stuff up there maybe with some stairs and like something like that just because it's high enough for that and then i don't know some something like that but it'll be it'll be really awesome but I guess I'm gonna get back down here and go check on the chickens. The kiddos are, I love coming outside when they're being nice to each other. And, Cause you know, our kids are just like any other kids. But look at them. Layton and is, Layton and Kaysen both. Kaysen's sitting down right now, but he's hitting the ball to Addison. This is stuff that I love watching, especially now that they're older, because she keeps getting closer and closer. <laughs> but I used to always do this, and I try to still. We still come outside quite often, but it helps me out when the kiddos will help each other out. I don't think they're, they know that I'm watching them. Whoa, too far back. Oh, she's gonna catch me. Doing pretty decent though. She better just go over and get in front of that bowl. But anyways, we'll get back down here to the chickens. <laughs> All right, so I made it down here and was getting ready to record some of the chickens, but Brayden, he gave me some very disturbing news. Um, we have a couple chickens I don't see him now I think he went back in here but um, two buff Orpingtons a hen and a rooster and the hen comes over here and and sits on some eggs every single day like anytime I'm out here checking on chickens or anything she's sitting on eggs and um, well now she's she's still sitting on eggs but something attacked her and I'll get over here and kind of show y'all something attacked her and we just got to get rid of these predators. So I'll go in here and kind of show you what happened. So it's, she's, I can't tell if, oh, that's pretty gross. Um, well, I can't tell if that's her head down there or not, and I'm not touching it. It's covered in ants. Let me get back out here. So, you've seen what I've seen. I can't really tell if her head was taken or, I don't know, but it's some kind of predator, and we've got to get rid of these predators. We've already had to lock up our turkeys or our guineas and we just had a few free roaming chickens left. I mean the turkeys obviously, but 
I don't know. I don't know what else to do about it. But I guess we'll get back over here and go check on the rest of the chickens. Hey, Jerry. What are you doing, bud? Are you checking on me? Hi. You tell everybody hi. Hi, baby. You got some females right there? Oh, yeah. You're so handsome. Well, hey. <laughs> I'm not going to go in or anything. I'm just going to kind of check from the outside. I want to go see Badger and them. What y'all doing? Still got a bunch of eggs in there. Hi. Oh yeah, flaunt that stuff, Mr. Rooster. All right. What are you doing? All right, so I'm going to, let's go in here and see Badger and all of them. All right. So I'll have to kind of explain why the llamas are in different pens. They're not out here on the outside right now but Badger has his own little pin right here. And then all the ladies, Socks, Honey, and Princess Layla are back in there. And then I think Honey's right over here. We'll kind of walk around that way. But that's because I don't really know what age Princess Layla or any llamas can start actually making babies. But I know Badger is trying. So we decided it was best to actually separate them. And um, if y'all know with, I mean, I've Googled it and I can find some kind of stuff about when and they can actually have babies or make babies or whatever what the age is I just don't want anything to happen to her because she's gorgeous yeah and she's a baby so that is why we separated them for right now but what we are going to be doing is actually pinning Princess Layla up and um, weaning her from mom and getting her away from all of them and we'll end up putting her probably in the goat pen. Um, and so, yeah, anyways. That is what we plan to do. Honey's over here. And then them two are over there. And then Carly is right over here. Carly girl, what are you doing, Sister Sue? It's nice and shaded over here, isn't it? Lucky. Hey, baby. Oh, your ears look so good. Yeah, they look so good. Here we go. What, what, do they have flies on there, bud? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we think she got some fly bites. Oh, yeah, what are you two doing? Jack, don't you? Hey, Jack. Hey, Jack. Hey, Jill. <laughs> Jill's got big ones. Yeah. Jill's always been a little bit darker than Jack. <laughs> she got big ones. Hi. Hi, Jill. Well, hi, honey. Hi, honey, pa. He was over there. <sighs> now you just can't see us. Mm hmm. Hi, honey pie. All right, so let's go find Dixie and Toby because I know they're around here somewhere. In the street, I bet. Yeah. Well, we found Toby, but Dixie I have not found. Top Tom. I bet she knew you had a video today and now she's just trying to find, hide from you. Yeah, she hiding from the camera. Come here, Tom. 
Come here, buddy. Hi, baby. Can you tell everybody hi? Hmm? Tell everybody hi? That's a good boy. He's just got them beautiful eyes. What are y'all doing back there? Oh, got a thorn? Yeah. That's a way to help him out. Addison lifted him up and got the thorn out of his crock. Um, y'all see Dixie? Oh, oh, Dixie girl! Come here, Dixie girl! You think that's little Ann? No, that's I think that's Dixie. Come here, Dixie! There her is. Yep, one more to go. Dixie! Where is Lily? Lily is around here somewhere. Alright, so we're gonna make our way this way and see if we can get to her since she is not coming to us. Dixie girl! Up to her, but yeah. When we're in the woods, we call her to come here to us. Yep, when we're in the woods. Daisy girl, tell me, sweet sir. Tell me. So, Toby's girlfriend is Dixie. Yep, Toby's girlfriend's Dixie. Oh, I, I used to Addison was mom. saying that Dixie was Toby's mom, and I said, no, that's her girlfriend or his girlfriend. <laughs> There's that Dixie girl. Are you? That's probably your spot because you're bringing bottles in. Look at you. Oh, got a golf ball. Yeah, y'all got a couple beds over there. A bunch of beds. So, do you not, do you not want to come. Come. Come here, Dixie. That looks like my golf ball. Come here, Dixie girl. There's my sister girl. Oh, hi. What are you doing, Toby? <laughs> what are you doing? Hmm? she's like, get away from my bed. Look at her. She's like, ow, turd head. Them paws hurt. I know y'all get to pet her because I'm, I got Toby. Hey, hey now. Toby. <laughs> Hi, Dixie girl. Hi, oh, Dixie girl. That's a good girl. Don't give the golf ball to her. They choke. Yeah, they'll choke. That's a good girl. Or mine. or mine in the car or truck. It probably is yours. Remember, I found one at the baseball game. Baseball game. Yeah, that is true. So, I have the kiddos here. Because there's no more school. Woohoo! Woo I thought they'd get a little bit more excited. <laughs> but yeah, their last day of school was Thursday. And, um. Four games. I missed out. Yeah. yeah. He, he didn't get to go to the last day of school. He slept. Yeah, he didn't have to go to the last day of school because he had his doctor's appointment. But. You're doing good back. though, huh? I thought they popped my back. You think they popped your back? Yeah. Why? I don't know. When you were on your belly? Yeah. They had him get on his belly so they can move his legs and stuff. So they could show his hip joints and that's where they seen that he had a lot of tightness in his hip joints and his knee joints and his ankle joints. And um, so anyways, um, he's going he's gonna to be all right though, I think. Yeah. 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 I think so. But anyways, we're going to make our way back up to the house because even though it's summer, these kiddos still need a shower, especially living on a farm. I think they stink a little bit. Because I've been running. <laughs> and they agreed with me, both of them. I think that's pretty funny. Us <laughs> too. But um, on our way up to the house, um, we got a few things going on this summer. This weekend, which was actually yesterday, but I'm recording this video on Friday just because this weekend we got booked up because of her softball tournament and I didn't want to forget about you guys. So tomorrow she has a game. 
y'all wish her luck and um she i know her first game is at i think 12 o'clock and then if she wins i think it's not till like four o'clock but if she loses she plays back to back and then um she'll have to go up the losing bracket but hopefully she just keeps winning and then wins it all and brings the brings home the gold but um besides that they have camp crossway which they go to every year it is a church camp with our church that we go to and what wait is it the water park no no i mean they have water uh, water day where you have a lot of fun stuff to do no i'm talking about the water slide yeah yeah they'll do all that but also what else is going on this um, we got birthdays coming up pretty soon. Um, Brandon's is in June. Um, Addison's September. Kaysen's October. Layton's December. Then goes back to February. Then April. We have them all year round. So they're super excited about those. And hopefully we, we bought a pool at the end of last year. And hopefully they will actually... We will put it up maybe next week. Um, we're just waiting on a day that we have to do that. But, hey, you be nice to my cowboy. You don't be ugly to cowboy. He'll, he'll beat you up. That's why you're, you're on lockdown, sir. Oh, look, he's scared of Dixie. Hi, cowboy. How you doing, buddy? How you doing, buddy? What are you doing? Get it. <laughs> they're gonna, they're gonna get your golf ball. Yep. But, anyways, um, like I said earlier, though, I'm gonna go ahead and get these two getting showers ready. I think Layton's helping Dad. Uh, Braylee went to stay with Papa and Nana for a little while. Um, she's getting the summer started. But, anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up, turn notification bell on, and subscribe. God bless.